Hey YouTube, it's Marcos03. Today uh, I have a tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be showing you how to make a nice background. kind of looks like this. So let's start off by going into Adobe Illustrator. Take the text tool and type in something. It looks good with this kind of font. Like What I'm about to show you, it looks different with every kind of font. I, I've noticed that it looks pretty good with this one, the Walto Graph. I'm not sure where I got it you can google it and find out so you could so you go into effect 3d and put in revolve and then you can adjust these settings to make it look how you want and then you click on more options and you can change the the shading color I want mine to be purple so I'll go ahead and make it light purple Now I'll just the light put it to the back so that the purple looks purple's on the front. And uh, I think I'll put in another shade. Let's see. How does that look? Uh I think I'll put it here. We'll put the intensity just down, up, up, down, maybe 60. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, now when you're done, take the selection tool and drag over your item. And Command C or Control C, copy that. Now go into Photoshop and paste it as a smart object. And. Now you can transform it to whichever size you want by pressing command T that will show up then you hold shift and drag I think I'll make it a bit bigger yeah that's pretty good now press enter when you're done to place it Okay, now I'll go in and let's delete this layer. Wait. Actually, I'll just lock it. Okay, make a new layer. And now we're going to make our text. So take the text tool and type in whatever you want. I'll just put element. Now, take the selection tool, click on it, and go to effect, 3D, extrude, and bevel. Now hit preview so that you can see what you're doing. And now I'm going to, again, make it shade to purple. Now I'll just shade to the back. There we go. Uh, one more. That looks pretty good. There we go. So click and drag over it and we'll copy that now go to photoshop again and we'll paste it smart object and hold shift and resize it that's pretty good now press enter there we go that looks pretty good there we go. So I'm just going to center this a bit. Now I'm not doing a live commentary. I made the video and now I'm just commentating while I'm watching the video. So if you get what I mean. So let's pick a sky blue color here. Now we have a brush. I got this. Is This brush comes from a particles and stars package. You can get that off Google or something. I'll make the opacity about 60. There we go. Looks like nice sky color. Let's zoom out a bit so we could see what we're doing. There we go. Well, that looks about good. Now we'll make a new layer to go over the element part. Because the text it still has no blue over it. 
So for this one, maybe we'll do this one. Let's see. Oh wait, that's too much. Put the opacity down. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now we'll just go around it with some streaks of light bluish, greenish, turquoise. Let's try this. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. Pretty good for an eight minute tutorial. Maybe uh, number 45. Just go around there. Whoa, too much. Well, all right, let's zoom in and see how it is. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, one more layer. We'll put in text, whatever you want. I'll put in just youtube.com slash marcos03. 30 fonts good. Whoa, let's make it red. youtube.com slash marcos03 guys don't forget to subscribe if you like the video then hit like uh... if you didn't like the video then please don't hit dislike now I'll just go over this again with a brush so it looks natural and doesn't stand out zoom in here Let's change the color. Can barely see that. Let's put the opacity up. What am I doing? Put the opacity up. Or do that. Again, this is not a live commentary, so I have no idea what I was doing this day. Yeah, there, that looks pretty natural. Yeah, I like that. So when you're done, just press File, Save As, and hit JPEG. Click Save. Yeah, Subscribe. Hit Save, and Quality 12. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.